Hello, everybody. Hey. What's up, guys? <laughs> yeah, what's up? Woo. I'm Yi Wei. I'm Ace. And we're on the Rift. Whoa. Uh, if you're new, we're glad to have you. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. Mm -hmm. um, today, we're going to be talking about Wards. Um, and we're going to be breaking it down into four categories. The first of which is Laning Face. The second of which is Pink Wards. The third of which is Objective Control. And the fourth is the Ward Line. It's a little more conceptual, but we'll talk about it later. Uh, so we'll just be kind of giving you the basics and the tools you need to start warding well in solo queue, in ranked fives, and whatever. Mm -hmm. Say hello to Roger the Bear. <coughs> you can't name my roommate's bear. <coughs> uh, the laning phase, we're going to be talking about common gank paths. Do the better jungler specific. <laughs> the deeper, the better. <laughs> That's gross. <laughs> I didn't say anything gross. I said what wards are like, and you <laughs> laughed about penises. <laughs> no! You want to take to the lane, and you're going to ward. And you're going to place the wards in places that help you see the enemy. Should we talk about vision? <laughs> okay, when you're warding for your <laughs> lane, it's <laughs> just really hot. <laughs> uh, <laughs> start over. Okay, the whole thing. Gank paths. Um, the deeper, the better, and then we'll go jungler specific. <laughs> I can't. It's like it's so broad. It's just like good advice, and then we we'll just sneak that in there. So in the laning phase. There's a couple things that you want to remember. First of all, you want to ward the very common gank paths. Um, so, in the river, uh, in the enemy jungle, the entrance to your side of the river, those kinds of things. One, two, <laughs> the second thing you want to remember is the deeper the ward, the better because uh, it gives you more time to react to the opponent's jungler. Um, so what you're saying is, the deeper the better. <laughs> yes, precisely. The third thing to remember is some wards can be jungler specific. So very uh, common example, Evelyn, you're gonna need pink wards in order to see her when she's running around invisibly, or you can ward her jungle camps because she will appear when she's attacking the minions or monsters. Basically what we're saying is, think about the enemy jungler when you're placing wards for your lane. Mm -hmm. Where are they gonna come from? Wow, I don't know. The jungle? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Honestly though, ward in the enemy jungle, that's a good place. Okay, now on to pink wards. Large subject, a lot to go into. Uh, but there's a few things that we want to help you guys remember. Mm -hmm. um, to make it simpler. 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 To make it very simple. Simpler. To make it simpler. You're all stupid. To make it so simpler. we have to make this as simple as possible. Just make it real easy for the people to <laughs> <stuff here. laughs> So okay. when you're warding with pink wards, you want to make sure that everyone is buying pink wards and lots uh, of them. Even AD. <laughs> <laughs> even AD carries. Especially AD carries. Especially AD carries. Yeah, you look at Sneaky or, Wa or Wild Turtle or Nasher Thrasher, any of those really big Pretty names out there, and they buy pink wards <laughs> on AD carries. Pretty much anybody but Double Lift. Even Double Lift. The second thing you're going to want to remember is you want to deny enemy vision and spot enemy wards. Also, something that we mentioned earlier was when you're in lane, you want to ward against the enemy jungler. So a good place to put pink wards is where the enemy would be warding to spot your jungler. <laughs> Here's a couple examples of some good places to place your pink wards. Ah, hmm. <laughs> okay, the last thing we're gonna talk about with pink wards is that you wanna be able to defend them. When you place a pink ward and you're clearing enemy wards, for example, they can see you clear those wards so they know where your pink wards are. Also, uh, pink wards are kind of expensive, so if you place them in the enemy jungle and then they just die, you've wasted money. And lastly, it does take quite a while for an enemy to destroy your pink ward. So, while an enemy is doing that, it's a good chance to set up a gank or a pick and get a kill. <laughs> Fuck him! Punch! I don't know, man. Fuck him! Punch! <laughs> I'm curving. <curious, laughs> <laughs> okay. The next thing you want to cover when warding is 
sporting objectives. Why? Because objectives matter in League of Legends. They matter. Tell me more. Turrets, dragons, barons, things like that on the map that are not champions. Even buffs could be considered objectives, but we're gonna stick to kind of the bigger ones. Um, when warding for turrets, uh, if you're gonna push a lane to go kill a turret, you want to try and ward your flanks. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So guard your behinds. Yeah. Prepare your butts. Mm-hmm. Prepare your butts. Hold I'm... on to your butts. Hold on to your butts. Another thing to remember is wherever you're going to focus your pressure, start warding ahead of time. So if you're going to the top lane to get a top turret, ward the enemy's top jungle. Same. Bottom lane, you want to ward the enemy's bottom jungle. Mm-hmm. Dragon Baron. Dragon and Baron. <laughs> That's it. Dragon and Baron. Dragon and Baron. Dragon and Baron. Okay, Dragon and Baron are special cases. Mm. You want to ward specifically for them. Yeah. And if your team is thinking about taking Dragon and Baron, you want to make sure that you start warding around those objectives anywhere from 30 seconds to a minute before. So start heading there ahead of time. Set up your wards. Get vision around the objective. So when the enemy comes, you can mess them up. You can you mess them up. Mess them you up. Rough them up. The last thing we're going to talk about is something we call the ward line. What is the ward line? Let me tell you, Thanks. noob. What? The pressure of your team on the map is reflected through your wards, and it usually looks something like a line. A line, cool. For example, in the early game, your ward line will start around the river because both teams have all of their turrets up and have equal pressure on the map. Yeah. Now, as your team, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> as your team begins to get turrets, and uh, starts looking for objectives in the enemy jungle, if you're ahead, you can start placing your wards farther into the enemy territory, in one, a line. One could almost say deeper. The ward line represents how much space your team controls on the map. So if you're ahead, you're going to have a lot of space, and it's going to be moving into the enemy jungle, whether it's that way or that way. Um, and if you're not ahead, and the enemy team has more pressure on the map, you're going to be defending, so you're going to want to place wards in your own jungle and on your side of the map, because that's where the enemy's going to be. Yeah, so warding is a team effort. Mm -hmm. so, so what does that, that mean? What does that, so what that what? means? So what so that what means... That, <laughs> so what we're saying is... You need to ward in groups? <laughs> Hold hands. Okay. <clears throat> warding is kind of like women going to the bathroom. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they always bring a buddy, and everyone does it. <laughs> all the time. They're just... Girls go to the bathroom all the time. Ward like three times during every movie you go see. Yeah, I mean, you're going out with your date. No, you're going with a date and a girl so you can go to the bathroom. Yeah, and if you're going to see Interstellar, you're at least going to ward like seven times during yeah, that movie. But it's worth it, hashtag worth. So yeah, ward with a buddy. Yes. Also, everyone do it. Not just with pink wards, yeah. but... There's other ways of securing vision. You make sure you're buying like, your trinkets. Yeah, buy your trinkets. And you're using the scanners, and, and you're places. buying green wards late game, and you're buying pink wards yeah. throughout the game. So it's that time on the rift where we're going to start talking about you and me and him and her. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to step back a bit and just look at what warning does in particular. It grants vision for your team uh, so you can see things ahead of time and react to them. It basically lets you make good decisions that win the game. This is Grandma. She's beautiful. We love our Grandma. Hello, Grandma. Hi, Grandma. Hi, she watches all our videos. <laughs> grandma, if you're she watching this video... She doesn't understand a word of them. No, but Grandma can understand this. Vision and preparation can lead to great opportunities in life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. War together, win forever. Team awesome. <laughs> I forgot what I. The was. deeper the better. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Always remember, war together, win forever. The deeper the better. And may Grandma always watch over you. Huh. Hmm. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something about warding. We had a good time. We hope you did too. Please leave some comments in the section below if you mm -hmm. want to talk about wards. Maybe have some good uh, opinions to share. Yeah, be nice and uh, leave a like and a subscribe if you like the stuff. Let us know what you want to see if you want to talk about more stuff in the future. So, from Ace and I, thank you very much. I'm Ewey. I'm Ace. And Blue. Bah! Space. <laughs> Rhymes with Ace. Grace. Grace. That's not a word. Goodbye, Goodbye everyone. Mm -hmm. Bye. Just have a coffee grind. If you're informed and you're not a dingus, you can win a game. In which that are placed in somewhat of a line. Meet more zeep. Zeep. Bah. Bah. Bah.
<laughs> I didn't even know I was rhyming those words. Oh! She calls us. Even his grandparents his... call him Zion Spartan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, oh. Okay, boom. Anywhere. Get it out of here. Not grandma. <laughs> Keep grandma here. <laughs> hey, maybe we try that one again. We can sing that. The team that works together wins forever! Oh gosh. <laughs> you can go, no! Stand fast, brothers! Ah! Fight for them! Mm. Mm. Okay. Wait, you something. You can't start talking about it. The lap. You're doing it. <laughs> Together wins forever! I don't like that. <laughs> Brother, mug me! <laughs> <laughs> Who am I? <laughs> oh, Valkaz. Valkaz. <laughs> <laughs> got three. Okay. What are we doing? One of the biggest things we want to... Ah, uh, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> One of the biggest things we... <laughs> <laughs> and the next thing you want to know... <clears throat> We're going to just cut that because that was crap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to have this syrupy sugar coat on the bottom the glass, which I will slurp up later. We'll see if any of it dissolves. <clears throat> okay, um, nope, all at the bottom. <laughs> Today, we're gonna be talking about war! Wait, I was already, I was already sick. <laughs> <laughs> Every three CS is a new ward. Really? Oh, no, I made that up. And that's not even close to right. Four CS. No, they're Here's not like 20 each. 40... 53, something like that. <laughs> 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 I have often dreamed of a far off place where everyone wars <laughs> and is kind to me. Where the crowds will cheer yeah. when, when they, they see my Jace. And all the vision leads to victory. I will find my way. I can go the distance. I will win the game. If I can be strong. I know every mile will be worth my while. I would ward most anywhere to feel like I... Blow!